Hey, what's going on there, YouTube? This is SEL0320 representing you JVS. It's a Sunday morning or afternoon at this point. I uh, just want to give you all a quick update from something that came from Zack Snyder. I wanted to give you all my spill on it as well as read to you verbatim exactly what he said in commentary and pretend it's to Batman vs Superman. But before that even goes through, just my small disclaimer, a lot of stuff happened last night about the TV spot and talks about the trailers as well as me and Joe did a second reaction slash full review of the first TV spot as well as doing like a review for second TV spot. I am excited for this movie. Like regardless, I say it one more time, this is my most anticipated film for this year. Rogue One is number two, Civil War is number three, and I mean there's a lot of slew of other movies that are going to be great, but Batman vs Superman I've been anticipated since when I Am Legend came out with the first teaser that it was supposed to release out in like 2005 or something like that. But regardless of the fact, I just want to make sure you all know that I am excited for this movie. In spite of whatever is going on in these TV spots, the problems that I had with the TV spots were that they were chopped up and they were pre-edited versus just showing the actual clip. When I saw the desert sequence or the dream sequence with Batman, Superman, and Superman ripping the mask off of him, I thought that that was perfect symmetry. I thought that was a sneak peek. And I feel like that's what they need to seclude to because if you put a lot of TV spots that just kind of have like one singular clip, you might as well just kind of have the actual sneak peek of the actual clip because most TV spots now, they're edited with a whole bunch of added sequences together and this is just one set sequence instead of just having an actual clip because I felt like it could have been a lot more meat to it and I could have been a lot more added epic but be assured I am a <laughs> Batman vs Superman fan I've started collecting these um, I'm trying to get the Funko ones if, I, if at all possible they've actually sold out everywhere Hot Topic and all over the place and not just that even with the movies I have every single one of the Batman vs Superman movies even the ones for Chris Reeve, only ones I don't have is the George Reeves versions and the Adam West versions. But definitely, make sure you know, I'm excited for Batman vs Superman. Anyway, so this is this is from SuperheroHype.com. So that's our talks, Batman vs Superman, Superman spoilers, and Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman. Okay, so um, one of the things that he first says, I have uh, some people have said that they have discrepancies about too many spoilers, which we had that conversation yesterday. Um, and he wanted to see if like he's worried or has anything that he wants to comment on that. And his comment was, I have the benefit of seeing the movie, Zack Snyder says. It's cool that they think it's too much, and I appreciate people for not wanting to know, but there's plenty they don't know. There's a lot of the movie that's not in the trailer. And I've said this before, I should have said it before I even read this, is that I feel like even with the Doomsday part, that's not the end game. I feel like there's something that's underneath Lex Luthor's hand. Like, we haven't even seen him go bald. I think Jesse Eisenberg made a quote yesterday that him going bald as Lex Luthor was one of the highlights of his career. Now, for that, for him to say something like that, I think that's interesting because it might mean his mind is totally warping. Or he was already gone to start with and they just haven't showed it. I thought initially that, you know, he was already bald and he was just putting on this facade for everybody. But it might be that his exposure to kryptonite might have him go into this certain kind of way. So I think this is going to be really interesting for the third act of this because it might be that when Doomsday, which is not to me the finished version of Doomsday, I don't think this is the full version because I feel like they're going to save him for later on for a um, Batman, I'm mean, sorry, Superman Doomsday kind of like movie on its own. Um, this may not be but the second act of the movie. So either way, I think that there's a lot of the movie we still don't know. Um, Snyder went on to address <clears throat> when other potential Batman and Superman spoilers from the film get out through unofficial channels, meaning toys. <laughs> I think one of the toys that came out with uh, Mattel or the Lego Batman Superman, it has some interesting spoilers and I'm not going to reveal that in this video. But this is what he had to say. Of course I hate it when any spoilers come out. You design the movie as a story that evolves as you watch it. So moment to moment, you're thinking, oh my God, um, that's going to happen next. Are they going to live? Are they going to die? So I want to, I want, I want that experience for the audience as much as I can. If you're at, if you're as an audience member exploring the articles, looking for answers to questions that you have, maybe you're okay uh, with knowing before you go. It's, it's like an individual taste, essentially. 
But like I said, I want people to see the movie without knowing. And so shifting gears, uh, Snyder spoke upon, I guess, Gal Gadot is Wonder Woman. This is what he had to say about that. And this will be the last part of this whole entire thing. We tested a bunch of actresses, as you can imagine. Uh, I don't know about all that. <laughs> uh, but the thing with Gal is that she's strong, she's beautiful, she's a kind person, which is interesting, but fierce at the same time. It's that combination of being fierce but kind at the same time that we were looking for. She can, she can get serious, but she's amazing fun to be around. And, by the way, uh, she really held her own with Ben in the screen test. Ben was like, whoa, that girl is something else. Um, that was a good sign because Ben is very tough in the actual scene. And he's being big and commanding. Anytime you're doing a test like that and you're looking at the other person, you're thinking, okay, that's good stuff. Uh, <clears throat> that was part of the process. And over time, we got to know Gal. We found out how amazing she is. So I think that's really interesting. I haven't heard anything about the actual screen test for Gal Gadot. I just knew it was kind of strange for them to bring her in. I know that, you know, she was an Israeli soldier at one point. She's got command training. Um, but she's very thin. She's very skinny. But she does have a really good innocence about her. Even when I looked at the Fast and Furious films, I thought she looked beautiful, had an innocence about her. But then when I saw her in sequences, she was just doing some, you know, jacked up stuff. And so I can see where she's, where she's going about that fierce edge. And even when I look at certain sequences with her in the Batman Superman trailers, um, she does kind of seem like she has an edge. Uh, Snyder also lastly spoke uh, about a brief Wonder Woman role, calling it bigger, bigger than a camo address, is she with you line from the trailer. So <laughs> basically what he's saying is that at the end, when Batman Superman in the trailer number two or three, um, asking like, where is this girl coming from? Is she with you? I thought she was with you. Um, you have to see the movie, was that Snyder says, because it gears into the drama of what's happening. And if you see it in context of the film, it will completely make sense that the two of them were trying to figure out who she is. And I think that actually makes sense. And I, I mean, this video is not going to have a whole bunch of clips in. I just really want to give you my input on this specific article because I feel like it's, it's perfect symmetry to address it given the past two TV spots. Uh, whereas normally I would put a lot of different clips to show what I mean. But... I feel like when I saw, I think, the teaser trailer, or no, trailer official number one, I saw Gal Gadot's character, you know, as Diana, getting into a, a car and looking at Superman or Batman, one or the other at the time. And then I saw her again, like, fighting with them. So it might be she's been playing this cat and mouse of trying to assess who these humans really are, or mankind in general. And not just that, like, she's got her own movie that she's filming right now that takes place, I think, in the 60s or the 50s. So she's super old in that sense. So it, it could have been that she's been scoping out what's going on and assessing everything from the jump. And she might have been a hero before they were even heroes. So um, I think it's going to be really good. I think it's going to be really good. Given what he said, um, I don't think he's crazy. I think that he, he handpicked her for a specific reason. So I guess all I can do is just hold my hands up and wait. But I can tell y'all, I cannot wait. For Batman versus Superman. I just would prefer them to come out with small sneak peeks like they did for the desert sequence. That's all I thought. Anyway, leave your comments in the comment section below what you think about Batman vs Superman. Is it still your most anticipated film coming up for this year? If it's something else, let us know in the comment section below. Keep it locked. JVS, we out. We ain't gonna stop. Later, y'all.